know this is the first time that UH Women's Water Polo has been a champion and it's not easy to win in those moments and so I think it really just it made a statement that we're not going to roll over, that we're competitors and we're there to compete and, and it, was, it was awesome. Um, it felt good to come out on top. I mean that's what we worked towards, that was our goal for the season and I mean we can only go up and we did so that's good. Um, our defense has definitely improved since the beginning of the semester. Um, the communication between us has come together and we're all just on the same page now where we know when to crash, when to help each other out and yeah it's all about communication. So. Uh, she's the heart of the team along with others but you know she knows how to put the ball in the back of the net and she's a great teammate and she's just been such a good role model in terms of her work ethic and I think that's what's what I like best about her is she's the first in the pool, she's the last out of the pool, and, and she just works so hard, and it's infectious with the rest of the team. So it's just made everyone want to do everything they could to become the best player they can individually and as a, as a team. I'm really excited to go to NC2As. It means a lot for our team. Um, we keep going strength to strength. Since the beginning of the year, we've all worked really hard to lead up to this tournament, and. It's all coming together now. Um, our first matchups against UC San Diego, and we got to play them at home. And but I think it will be different when we play them the next time around. They're going to come out strong, and we have to come out stronger. So. Well, we're playing against six other conference champions and the other two best teams in the country. So it's you know they they know it's going to be a competition, and they're confident, which is good because I think this team plays great when they're confident, and and I think it'll only help us.